What's good YouTube? Andrew here from All Right Solutions. Okay, we've got a question. Um, what's what? Sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Um, it's not really a question, but it's just a statement saying um, we could do with knowing how to uh, hook up the handlers using IIS Express. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I'll put a quick video together. Um, just so you you get the full picture of um, how it's done in IS as well, instead of just using the the web config. So um, first off, what we need to do is if you haven't already got IS installed, and it do, it does usually come with um, with Windows Server anyway, if you've got that installed. Um, but if you've got it hosted um, externally with a, a provider like I do, um, you'd have to download it, install it from uh, Microsoft. So it's just a case of just quick Google, uh, download, install that, make sure the uh, operating system that you've got there is correct. Um, once that's installed, uh, as mentioned before, we need, um, sorry, in the previous tutorials, we created a, um, a folder um, within the root of uh, the website and um, we called it services uh, within that services folder there was a bin folder so that's where, where the DLLs that you created uh, using C sharp would live and then outside of that again within the services folder we had a, a web config which we manually updated um, it's a bit quicker than logging into IS and and doing what I'm going to show you in a minute. So, <clears throat> with it being a hosted site, you are restricted to some options that you've got there. So, but anyway, that, that's the web config file um, which we use. So, when we call the uh, the REST web service, um, that's what's needed there. So, I'll show you what it looks like in IIS. So, with IIS opened up, you need to add a new um, connection by using uh, this thing here create new co connection so you connect to your server uh, you'll need to get the details from your provider usually when you set up a, an account with them they send you all them details anyway so um, once that's all set up um, you will then need that's all I've done. yeah so this is my uh, control panel on hosting UK and you can see within the root of alright.co.uk we've got um, I've created a, a virtual directory so this one we've created one called services so that that's needed um, in order to allow us to browse to that, that folder um, so if you had IIS installed on, on your server locally, you wouldn't need to do it obviously through through this control panel. What you would do is you would, from from here, you would right click the vir virtual folder and you would convert to application. It's not in the list of, of options here, but um, if you did it locally, you, you would have that option. Um, we then get into the realms of um, application pools and, and things like that which is, is not listed here either, so but that, that could be another video. Anyway, so when the um, application folder is being created, and as I mentioned before, there's the bin folder, and that contains the DLLs that you created um, in C-sharp, and then within the root of the web services, there is a web config file, as I showed you before, which looks like that. So what we need to do is, in order to get this kind of effect, we can do it this way. So it would be a case of um, going to this section here, which is Handler Mappings. And I can just browse down here. Do, 
do do fat jumps so if you click on this section over here which is add managed handler this is in effect doing what we did before when we were manually typing out the web config file so um, let's say get my apps so this is what we we're going to be calling so it would be your web address slash folder name so services and then slash the um, name you want to call so in this instance it's get my apps again as I mentioned in the other videos um, we need the namespace and the class name so that would be json web example dot class name so that service we called it and again for the name get app sorry get my apps okay um, because we're not because we're doing it um, this way um, we need to tell it what the path type is. So if you click on request uh, restrictions, at the moment it's down as a file. So we just want to uncheck this bit here. Just make sure all the verbs are allowed. And that's like that, yeah. So that's fine. Just OK that. And then OK that. OK, so that's created a new handler. Now what we need to do is just go and test it. So let's have a look. So alright, goodie k slash services. Uh, we call it get my apps. And there we go. Okay, um, if you've got any questions uh, or comments, um, if you leave them, I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, as always, please like, share and subscribe. Take care, see you soon.